Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda. I'm Mr. Sepulveda, and on today's seventh episode, I'll be using this work of art created by a fifth grader uh, by the name of Jolie Burroughs from North Carolina. She calls this character Moxie Makoto. Jolie drew Moxie to be part of the My Hero Academia anime universe. And if you guys know My Hero Academia very well, then you know that these characters have super abilities or super powers uh, known as quirks. So Jolie has given Moxie Makoto the half demon, half angel quirk. I'm very excited for you all to see my interpretation of her awesome character. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. So as you guys see, uh, everything's going to be time-lapsed for us. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I had a very difficult time trying to um, recreate her character. Uh, this is honestly my third attempt that you guys are seeing here. Um, each attempt um, took me roughly about anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours between sketch and um, final... Um, effects and colors and things like that so what you're seeing here is my third attempt and I believe this one took me about an hour 45 to two hours roughly so I'm just kind of messing around with the pose here I'm trying to figure out where um, her legs are I, I see that right arm uh, it's on our left but it's her right arm uh, and how bent out it is uh, it was something I didn't like I eventually changed that up um, I do notice that I have some anatomy issues, but I'm going to be working on that because, you know, uh, the whole point of this channel for myself is to kind of uh, go on an art journey and kind of just monitor my progress as I go. So it's definitely something I know I'm going to be working on, but I think ultimately my end results are something that I think Jolie will be satisfied with. It's something that I'm pretty satisfied with because I took some risks at the end and I'll show you um, those risks later okay so every time I sketch and, I, and I'm using clip studio paint by the way uh, when I sketch I, I have this particular pencil that kind of acts like a watercolor brush so I, I'll use it to create my lines and then I'll, I like to shade in with it as well um, just to kind of get myself a, a unique feel for it so right now I'm just trying to figure out where her clothing is where her legs are where the muscles are trying to figure out maybe some shadows and things like that as I draw um, you'll also notice um, as this progresses um, that skirt gives me some trouble uh, I'm not a fashion forward person so uh, trying to draw a skirt on a character was definitely hard and it, at least on the time lapse it looks like it goes really quickly but I did spend a good amount of time trying to figure it out definitely erasing it back and forth as well so you can see here I'm not satisfied with the arm I try to leave the arm hanging behind her straight down I didn't like that either here's the first attempt at uh, erasing that skirt trying to figure out where her body is uh, ultimately, I think that back leg should have been further back and maybe a little bit smaller, uh, at least in proportion or at least in perspective to where her front leg is. But again, these are just minor, minor details here uh, because uh, Moxie has a half angel quirk um, and a half demon quirk. I thought maybe a demon wing and an angel wing. Um, you can see that I already did the demon horn and an half angel halo. Um, I ultimately just, I don't know, with, with the way that I was trying to create this, I didn't know if I was going to go full body at first, uh, but I ultimately decided to just challenge myself and then just go for it. So you can see me filling in the rest of her legs, trying to give her some combat boots of some sort. Um, and then I start doing my lining process. And if I remember correctly, uh, I was just using a real G pen on Clip Studio Paint. Um, I have a different round line brush that I use from time to time, but I thought uh, this pen would... Um, I, I just like the feel of it with the way that it kind of slides and gives you fine lines and depending on your pressure gives you some thick lines as well. So I, I, that's the 
main reason why I chose it. Plus, I like um, using that real G pen for folds and things like that. Um, here with the hands, I decided to kind of give her pointier fingertips because eventually I end up putting in some nails on her. Uh, but I was saving that for later. I like to jump around, as you can see, as I'm doing some art. Um, I try to keep the mouth as close to like um, an anime slash manga mouth, so that's why there's a gap there. Um, here's where I draw in the hand, and you can clearly see that I changed the position of it uh, from where it was. I wanted her to kind of either be holding something or something was going to come out, and I already had a feeling for what I wanted, considering that she was part demon, and you guys will see that um, when I get to the effects later. But here I am. I, I thought this wing over here was looking pretty good because I don't want it to be symmetrical. Um, so that's why the wings are kind of like all over the, all over the place and then they have different designs um, throughout as they go from one layer to the next. But ultimately when I zoomed out, I just, I don't know what it was about this wing. I, I was just not satisfied and I was trying to save it as best as I could. So I thought maybe I would just leave it and come back to it later. So I went to the hair. Um, and you can see I'm just kind of letting it fall any which way for, for this character right here. But you can tell, like, I just was not having it with that wing, so I got rid of the wing. I, I erased it all. Um, I was continuing with her shirt. I was changing the way the hair was falling. Um, in Jolie's original design, um, she's got a character, her character's wearing like a darkish color. I decided to interpret it as a, like a dark blue. I know half her hair was black and the other half was white. Um, I actually reversed where the hair was. I put the darker side on the right, on the character's right, and the white, um, sorry, I put the light part on the character's right, our left, and then the dark part on our left, um, or character's left, our right. Sorry about that. Um, here I am just kind of trying to mess around with the hair. I wasn't sure if I wanted a pure white or if I wanted something close to a gray or a blue type of tone, like something light. Because I, I, if I think about an angel, I'm thinking about some really light blues or light yellows for some reason. I don't know what it is. Um, here I am just trying to mess around with maybe putting a shine in her hair, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. So you can kind of see me just kind of uh, messing around with the colors on her head. Uh, ultimately, I kind of change it up a little bit. So that's this is kind of how I end up with the partial blue hair on her right hour left. Um, and, I, and I'm messing around with some other colors, making it purple. Maybe it's a really dark purple. Um, I just mess around with some effects uh, um, on my side of things just to see what I like the most out of it. But I think ultimately I was, I was going to stick with like a darkish, blackish color and a lighter color on the other side. Um, I try to think about like the UA costume and how it's almost like a red, blue, and white type of look. So I was trying to put that in there. Um, I wanted her eyes to um, be half and half. So half angel, half demon. So a little red um, for the demon part, a little blue for the angel part. Um, right here, I'm casting a light from her hand. Right? Um, so ultimately, you'll see it soon enough. That hand's also going to have partial demon power, demon light coming off of it that's reflecting on her clothes. But here's where I try to do something different and out of my comfort zone. Um, I ended up putting this like glow layer, if you will, um, above my line layer, and I never do that. It's not something I'm comfortable with, um, so it might look a little odd to you guys, but... Um, it was definitely odd for me at first, but I totally dug it, and so I decided to go with it. Um, here I am thinking of like maybe a light blue energy that's making a wing as opposed to having a physical wing. Um, almost like a black clover where Asta has like the uh, black demon wing on the one side. Um, so here's where I decided to try to add some fire glow or some like a little light source that that's causing that light on her um, hair. I was trying to decide on a demon wing and what I wanted that demon wing to look like. So I decided just to keep it very simple. Um, and, and so she's honestly creating this energy to create these wings uh, behind her as well as the fire uh, and the halo is what I was thinking. Um, I also like the lights um, kind of bouncing all over her legs and her clothes. And again, you can see here, I, I usually don't 
ever keep it on the line layer or above the line layer, but I really dug it. It just, I don't know if you think it works, but it totally worked for me um, as I was looking at it. Um, here I am messing around with some shadows. And then for those of you guys that are new to this channel, I'm not a professional. I'm a science teacher, but I do enjoy art and I love um, drawing for my students. Um, here I am because I had to go back. I thought I was done. You saw my signature there, but um, I did notice that I forgot like the, the fishnets that um, Moxie had on her original design. So I went back and I was trying to figure out what was the best way to make a representation of the fishnets. Um, so you can see, so that's not really a shadow uh, that I have there. And then right above that color change is where I'm putting in uh, the fishnets that go kind of around her entire body. You can see me erasing, getting real close to where the neckline is. There I am doing it for the legs. And then I ultimately have to figure out how light, how dark it has to be. So I'm messing around with some effects for uh, the netting that she's wearing. And eventually, um, you guys will see it soon enough. I, I kind of get to a really good spot where I'm really ecstatic about her. Um, and then I decide to add a, just a few more details, just a few more shadows uh, from where her hair is covering her face. I thought that needed a shadow for sure. And in most animes and manga, you guys will see shadows um, right where the eyelids would be. And so I did that. And then I decided I really did like that purple color I had, so I thought, why not? Let's make the under part of her hair really dark with this purple color while the top part's a little bit more of a general grayish black tone. But yeah, Jolie, honestly, this has been a blast trying to draw this character. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, so this is what she ultimately looks like at the end. Um, I don't know what happened to my camera there, but here I go. Um, going a little bit slower um, on the uprise over here where you can see the boots. I think the boots came out pretty well. Uh, the fishnets on her legs came out pretty nicely. The skirt, if I used more references, I think I could have done a better job at the skirt, but I did like it uh, for like my third attempt on one. <laughs> and then the angel and demon wings along with the fire and half halo and the horn along with the two-tone eyes. I thought this was awesome. I definitely enjoyed this one. If you guys have some art that you want me to draw in my style, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so you guys can send it my way and hopefully we'll see it in a future video. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please go ahead and do so. Uh, Jolie, thanks again for allowing me to draw your amazing moxie um, in my own style. Um, for all my fifth grade Odell dragons that have been waiting patiently to the end of this video to find out who's going to get another drawing from Mr. Sepulveda, uh, the answer to that question is Annabelle. So Annabelle, I'll be drawing your picture in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all next week.